Alright, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna be watching Game of Thrones Season 6, Episode 5. I mean Episode 6. Now, in the last episode, we lost a real one. We lost Hordor. R.I.P. Hordor, man. R.I.P. Very interesting about his character, though. So, he was saying Hord he was saying hold the door the entire time, but it just mumbled into Hordor, which, okay, but, and that, the last part of his life affected him at a point in his life where he was like probably 15, something like that, around that age, so a very early part of his life, because that girl was saying, hold the door, hold the door to him, you know, and Bran, I'm sure Bran being warged into that moment in the past affected him too. If Bran was never there, then it wouldn't have affected him, but <clears throat> at the same time, Hordar is older than Bran, and that probably happened before before Bran was even born. So how could that have? How could by the time Bran is born, how come? How could Hordor be Hordor? You know, because Bran Bran only, has only known Hordor as Hordor, and that's it. He was shocked when he found out his real name was Willis. So it's like a paradox, you know? Which one came first? <laughs> like, damn. All right. Okay. I don't know. This doesn't make any sense. All right. All right, all right, all right, whatever. I'm gonna just stop wasting time. We're just gonna hop right into this episode. If you'd like to watch the full link reaction, that'll be available on Patreon. As well, early access to the next two episodes of Game of Thrones will also be available on Patreon. So, let's get started. Oh yeah, and she's pulling Bran away as Hodor was holding the door. Like, dog, I don't, I call bullshit how she got away from all that, but okay. All right, what's this vision? What the hell? Yeah, okay. Like, those whites busted down that door and they would have hawked her ass down. But all right, all right. Burn them all! Oh, what the fuck? Where's my sister? Oh, shit, that was Jamie in fucking The Mad King. He sees everything. Dude, so much has happened right there. I'm pretty sure that was Jamie, that was Jamie in The Mad King right there. Because he was talking about... So I remember the story of like how he was obsessed with the wildfire and he wanted to burn everyone. And it showed the wildfire, then it showed the king saying burn them all. And then Jamie killed him. Cause he was like, go kill your family or, you know, so Jamie technically betrayed him and killed him. Damn, come on, you got this, come on. Oh, he sees hard home. Oh, they're on their way. They're in the woods right there. Oh, they're gonna come cock us down. They found us. Yeah, bro, you were like a hundred yards away. You were a hundred yards in one direction away. Like, yeah. Alright. It's just RIP. It is for her, but probably not Bran. Oh, shit. Who the fuck? Who the fuck? Who? Who? Fuck! Can't tell who that is. Oh, the fire is gonna scare him away. Oh. Come with me now. Uh, yeah, I don't know who that is. The dead don't rest. Yeah, we gotta go now. Damn, fool just grab Bran by the back of his fucking jacket and just throw him up. Jesus, my boy is strong. Okay, I, I want to know who that was, but all right. It's so green. Um, yep, Gilly. Aw, oh, little Sam. You're a nervous talker. <laughs> and I certainly didn't expect to be introducing him to my family. Hmm, aw. Little Sam is your baby. Yes, no, that's very important. Okay. If he thinks that little Sam's his grandchild, they'll take you in. It wasn't a very large piece of parchment. You didn't tell them where I'm really from. Nope. I'm a wildling. The thing is, nope. my father doesn't like wildlings. He hoped I'd make a man of myself by killing some bloody wildlings. So... <laughs> oh, Sam. Oh, hello, mother. Damn, this is mom. It's me, your grandmother. Oh. <laughs> You'll be a scholar, like your father. <laughs> Where is father? Have they come? Yeah, I want to see Sam's dad. Oh. Ah, 
Tommen in this fucking... Dude, he's just grooming Tommen. Very dangerous. She'll be protected the entire way. Oh, and um, the walk of shame for Marge. Stern with those who overstep their bounds. Mm, bro, you have like two guards versus the entire city. They're like... <sighs> Like, bro, if they wanted them or dead, they're, they're gonna have her dead. I'm surprised Cersei even survived the walk. But the, the public, the people, they love Marge, so there's no, there's nothing to worry about. But are we getting a fucking army to come wipe these fools out? Would you like to see her? Because, like, Olenna said, fuck no, she's not doing that walk of shame. So. Uh, I feel like Marge is so pissed at him. But she's gonna hide it. Yeah. He says there's no other way. Bro, I I know another way. Okay, you're just too fucking bit, you're too pussy to do it, but... You? Yes, I have. He's not quite what we thought he was, is he? There's something about him. His way of looking at the world. Mm -hmm. Peaceful perspective. Admitting to yourself what you really are. It's taken me a while. He's helped me. You're the best person I know. I, I was just telling him about your devotion to the poor. Ah, yes. I visited their hovels and I fed them soup and I made sure I was seen doing it. Mm-hmm. I never gave them what they really needed, though. I've had lots of time to think about how good I was at seeming good. There were so many lies in those stories. I don't understand. It's all right. It really is. You'll understand one day, Tommen. One day you'll know. I love my brother. I will always love my brother. His soul is pure and perfect. Don't say but. His sins don't erase that purity. They only obscure it. Ah. Uh, he she... just needs to atone for them. Okay. One way or another. Damn, they really got Marge too. The gods have a plan for us all. Damn, they really got her too. Damn, Sam looks fresh. Ooh, so does Gilly. It's hard to walk in this. <laughs> Says Dad. <laughs> mean mugging Sam. Oh, uh, does she not know how to use a fork and a knife? Bro, this is the most awkward fucking dinner ever. So do you do much hunting up at the wall? Fuck oh, yes. no. Yes, I'm... Bro, we don't have time to hunt. We're fighting for our lives up there. I mean, yeah, you gotta hunt to eat, but like still. I say we. It's my friend John, mostly. Oh. Yeah, tell him about John. Ed, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell, tell him about Ed, too. Not fat enough already. Oh my god, dude, that's such a fucking dick. I can tell he hates him just by the way he was looking at him and then that comment too. Got to be, um, mister. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'll return to Castle Black. I thought the Night's Watch might make a man of you. <sighs> Spending your life reading about the achievements of better men. Fuck. To be maester of the Night's Watch is a great honor. He can wield a sword. Yeah. He killed a Fen. Yeah, and a White Walker. He killed a White Walker. Mm-hmm, tell him. <laughs> There's no such thing. Yeah, there, yeah. It's, oh, bad, bad, bro. Let, let, me come to, let me come show you, buddy. He drove a dagger into the Walker's heart. Yeah, but it hasn't affected them yet, so they, they think they're not real. He's a greater warrior than either of you will ever be. Mm-hmm. Tell him, Gilly. He's just gonna respect. He's gonna respect her for saying for saying that. Where did he kill a White Walker? Oh fuck. Where are you from? Oh, I knew it. Uh, you come to meet my son. Oh no, he's gonna. No, he knows she's a wildling now. The Night's Watch came to our keep. Where? Gilly. North of the Wall. Oh. Mm. You're a wildling. Yeah. Seven kingdoms have waged war against these savages for centuries, and here I sit, hosting one in my hall. Been in our family for 500 years. Valerian steel. Oh, Only a handful that. of them left in the world. Yeah, we could use that, buddy. One son after I die. 
Kill some white walkers with it. Never wield that sword. Oh my god. If he were to become Lord Tarly of Orn Hill, it would be the end of this house. It was a wildling whore that seduced my son. Bro, Sam, just kill your dad right now, dude. Bringing that to my table and making me dine with it. God damn. Come, my dear. Tala. I've no. lost my... He dishonors us. You dishonor yourself. Yeah. I'm with the mom on this, dude. Your mother's a fine woman. You're not worthy of her. God, fuck it. Bro, I hate this guy, too. <laughs> Please, sir, I'll take the wildling in. You can work in the kitchens. Hmm. This will be the last night you ever spend at Horn Hill. Damn. Good, I don't ever see you again, fool. <laughs> Say goodbye to him for me. Oh. You're not what he thinks you are, Sam. Mm-hmm. He doesn't know what you are. Exactly. He would have never survived the shit you've been through, bro. Damn. Mm. Sam? We're leaving. Oh. What? Get your things. I don't have any things. Bad, let's go. We belong together. Yes. All of us. Yes. Fuck yes, yeah, Sam. Your sister's dress. She won't mind. Yeah, who cares? It looks better on you, isn't it? Oh, are we taking the sword? Hell yeah, we're taking that sword. That's your father's sword. Yeah, that's why I'm taking it. Fuck that fool. Sam, won't he come for it? He can try. He can bloody well try. Oh, let's go, let's go. I thank the gods above. Yep. And to you. And Arya has to kill an actress in here, in this play. My joy and be my royal oh, oh, this is Joffrey's death. They did it. Wow, I said that in the last episode. The last time this play was on. <laughs> yeah, I like, fuck this fool. This is entertaining for Arya. She just she wishes she could have been there. Yeah, no one likes that but Arya. I pray you found a lasting peace. I don't. Hear my prayer, oh cruel gods, take my life instead. But actually, instead, nah, nah. I guess that was a good performance. Oh, gotta kill her now, so. No, the music. How come Arya doesn't have a face on right now? Just in case she gets caught, like no one would know who she is. That crowd was shit. Wait, I just watched something with that fool in it. Loki. It was Loki. That, that's what it was. He was uh, Loki in episode five. That's who that is. Recognize him by his voice. This stupid play. Oh shit. Three times? Did you pay? No. I ran off and joined them the next day. Never looked back. Hmm. But to be fair to myself, which I always like to be, oh, no. the writing's no good. Is Arya gonna switch it out? Cause she like she she'll feel bad. The queen loves her son more mm -hmm. than anything. What's your name? Uh, gotta go. Mercy. Yeah. You have very expressive eyes, Mercy. She does, yeah. Do you like pretending to be other people? <laughs> I have to go. My father's waiting for me. Is she onto us? This could be a test by Jagan. That could be Jagan. I don't know. These people are worse than animals. Yeah, it's definitely the guy from Loki. Who's anyone to judge my work? Oh, no. This is my profession. I know what I'm. She realized? You have no right to an opinion. Wow, all right, fuck you, dude, but... <laughs> oh, yes, Arya, yes! Ex you gotta explain yourself. Make of a lie. Careful of that one. Oh... Perfect. Blame it on him. That's all you gotta say, she don't... She you dead. Yep. Damn... Oh, fuck, this bitch is here. God damn it. All right, Arya gonna do it. So no. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Arya's getting something. She's getting her fucking sword. That's what. She, yeah. All right, this life ain't for Arya. She can't do this bullshit. Yep. Her sword. What? What are you doing, bro? What? Hey. 
Oh, he's cutting his face. I thought he was cutting his knee. <laughs> oh, as I expected. You promised me. Hmm. Don't let her suffer. What? I, what, he promised her that she could kill Arya if Arya fails? Okay. Oh god, that'd be so sus. Alright, Walk of Atonement. Here we go, I guess. Oh wait, no, alright, that's the arm. Alright, that's the army. Let's fuck, yep. Let's go. We're gonna get my girl out. Goodness. Has overtaken this city. Fuck. In its claws, my children. Mhm. Mm hey, respect to him for putting on armor, and at least I'm assuming he's gonna fight too, because like I, I thought he was kind of a whip, honestly. <laughs> but if he fights, that's respect. Mhm. Mm Get the fuck out of my way. Hell yeah, Jamie. <laughs> Yeah, we came through. But I mean, like, Marge was pretty much gonna do it anyway, because I, I guess she changed, you know? I don't know if she's just capping, but it seemed like Marge actually changed for real. So, ah, yes. Oh, we have enough people to wipe them out. But there's people in the city on their side, too. Answer Laura's Tyrell. Give them to us, and we'll be on our way. Mm hmm. I don't have the authority to give them to you. And you don't have the authority to take them. But, but the people in the city are going to get whole pissed if they do this. So, all right. <laughs> Jamie. Speak for King Tommen of House Baratheon, first of his name. Mm -hmm. The gods don't recognize his authority in this. Oh, my God. You already insulted one great house. It won't happen twice. Every last sparrow will die before Marjorie Tyrell walks down that street. Yeah. It's each and every one of us. We going for it. Hmm. Lancel's not about this, bro. He's not about this. Jamie, kill him right now, please. Let him know you're serious. But there is no call for it today. Oh. Oh. There will be no walk of atonement. Ha <laughs> you're a bitch. You ah, uh, you're a bitch. He knew, he knew he would lose this. I say we just fucking snatch her anyway. Let's go take her anyway. Queen Marjorie has already atoned for her sins mm. by bringing another no. into the true light of the seven. Oh, no. Right. Oh, Tommy. No, we got the... Come on, dude. Tom Tommy really joined them? Together, we announce crown and the faith. I mean, the people like it, I guess. Hmm. <sighs> what's happening? Yeah. He's beaten us. That's what's happening. Bro, he's just a step ahead of us. Fuck. He's good. He's good. I'll give him that. Oh, what, Jamie? What are you doing? When you attack the faith, you attack the crown. Shut up. Anyone who attacks the crown is unfit to serve as Lord Commander of the King's Guard. Wow. Member of the King's Guard since before you were born. Yeah. You don't have to do this. You don't have to do anything. I have to answer to the gods. <sighs> Not when you're sitting in that chair. Mm hmm. The crown's decision on this matter is final. Damn. Oops. Or will I spend a few months in the Sept Dungeons first to teach me about the God's mercy? Yeah, Tommen. Really? We're really about to send Jamie there? And you will continue to do so. But not in this city. Wow. You've lost it. Wait, Father Frey. Why, are, why the fuck are we here? Why, what? Okay. You didn't lose River Run. You let the Blackfish take it from you. He surprised us. He knows the castle better than anyone. Haven't seen this fool in fucking three years. That's what it means to lose something. Now he's come back and taken River Run. Shh, banners, not again. River Run is ours. Take it back. No. I'm as many men as the damn Blackfish. They're laughing at us. I hear it in my sleep. I'm not dead yet. I'm you fucking should be. 
You'll show him the knife you used to kill Rob Stark's child in his whore mother's belly. Fuck off. You used to open his niece's throat. <sighs> you remind him who it was that got married at the Red Wedding in the first place. Mm-hmm. His nephew. Yeah. Yeah, this fucking guy. Bro, I assumed this was, but I assumed he died on the Red Wedding night. Better you're elsewhere at the head of an army than in the Scepter Dungeon. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give Bronn the largest bag of gold anyone's ever seen. Let's go. We get to see Bronn? Let's go. I'll take them to the Sept and I'll remove the High Sparrow's head and every other yes. sparrow head I can find. Yes. We should treat them without mercy and we will. But if you kill the High Sparrow, you won't need the Sept alive and without you, this is all for nothing. Yeah, that's true. Show our men where their loyalties belong. Show them what Lannisters are, what we do to our enemies. Fuck. All right. <laughs> It will be a trial by combat. Oh. I have the mountain. Oh, uh, the mountain. Yeah, it's facts. They've made us both stronger. All of them. Mm-hmm. No idea what we're going to do to them. All right, I can't fucking wait to see that. The first time I can actually agree with Cersei. And she got weird. Okay. Okay, who is this? Why did you help us? Three-eyed raven sent for me. Oh. Three-eyed raven's dead. Now he lives again. Yeah, Bran's a Three-Eyed Raven now, so I guess Bran sent for him. Okay. So I guess this guy's just loyal to Three-Eyed Raven. When I last saw you, you were a boy. Oh, okay. This boy. I have to climb the castle walls. Oh, when he could walk. Mm -hmm. Uncle Benjen? Uncle Benjen. Yeah! It is Uncle Benjen. Let's fucking The last go. letter John wrote me said you'd been lost beyond the wall. Wow. You wanna know how I fucking knew that? Cause when when they killed fucking John, they were like, Uncle Benjamin sent for you. And after the episode, I was like, who is Uncle Benjamin? I looked him up and I saw a picture of him. And <laughs> that's who it is. I didn't have time to learn. I can't control anything. Well, gotta learn now. For the night king comes. Yeah. He will find his way to the world of men. Mm -hmm. When he does, we're all fucked. You will be there waiting for him. Yep. All right, but and you will be ready. That's what I like to hear. The Thraki and all their horses, the Unsullied, the Second Sons, <gasps> a thousand ships, easily, yeah. probably more. And who has that money? Ah, uh, I know. I know who. <laughs> the fucking dude from fucking Ironborn, Theon's uncle. Well, actually, Theon stole all the ships, so Theon has them. Does he have a thousand though? I don't know. But he told them all to build a thousand ships, so. But that's gonna take a couple years, bro, at least. Fuck. I know I don't track, man. Only after. Wait for me here. Dragon. Yep, she get dragged. She get it. She knew it was near. That's why she went alone. Hell yeah. Call whoever lives. I will not choose three blood riders. I choose you all. Fuck yeah. Will you ride the wooden horses across the black sea? Yep. Will you kill manatees in their iron suits? Yeah, fuck yeah. And tear down their stone houses? Will you give me the sending kingdoms? And give Khal Drago promise me. Yeah, they give Khal Drago promise me. Before the mother of mountains. My and always. Oh, well, great speech. That was a Captain America level speech. An Optimus Prime kind of speech, too. Shit, I'm ready to fight for her, too. <laughs> All right, but that was Game of Thrones. Season 6, episode 6. That was a cool little speech by Daenerys at the end right there. She got her dragon. She's getting the Darth Raki all hyped up. Cause we're gonna go to fucking take over. But she needs ships. Dario says she need at least a thousand, right? And yeah, it just so happens that Theon's uncle can provide her. Well, okay, Theon took all her ships, right? Theon and Yara took them all, and he was like, "Go chop down some trees. We're gonna build this shit." That's gonna take him a fat minute to build. Okay, so maybe Theon will come through. Maybe, maybe that would be pretty clutch. But maybe we'll see.
Theon's basically gonna do what his uncle wanted to, just as a fuck you to him. All right, so we tried to press the high sparrows. We tried, okay, but they, he was one step ahead. He got Tommen on his side now, and it kind of just made us look stupid, honestly. <laughs> because, you know, like we were ready to go for, to war for her, and it's not what the people wanted. It's, and it's not what Tommen wanted, I guess. I don't even think Marge wanted us to do that for her. Like, she was ready to do that walk, and she was just ready. So, all right. All right, fuck us, I guess. Okay, and then Jamie's being sent to deal with the Blackfish from for, for Walder Frey, I guess. That's what he said to Cersei. Well, that's kind of annoying. Like, fuck Walder Frey, dog. I hate it. Why is he back? Why is he back? Fuck this fool, dude. Sans is going to the Blackfish right now to get him so shit i guess there's a race to see who can get there first all right and then with Arya, she couldn't do it she couldn't kill that actress i think I, as she started talking to the actress she kind of like started to relate to the actress maybe a little bit a little bit and she was like you know what i can't do this i i don't like dragon didn't tell her why you know she asked like why am i doing this to her and dragon's like a servant does not ask and so Arya probably you know related to her a little bit and was like you know what I'm not, i can't do this i can't i can't do it like i don't know if she's a bad person or not she seems like a good person so i'm not going to and then that other girl whatever her name is she was there watching aria you know and reported back to jack and hey look she couldn't do it and then i don't know like okay what did she mean by you promised to jack and like like did he promise that if aria does if she fails again then she gets to go kill her or something but I guess Arya totally bailed. You know, Jack and said there's, there will be no third chance. And then Arya didn't even go back to Jack and she went and got her sword and then she's hiding somewhere too. So, cause she's done with Jack and now she's like, fuck this. So, okay. Like she can't be a, a servant to Jack and just killing people without knowing why they, like, why they need to be killed and everything. So, all right. I guess Arya will just take what she learned from Jack and then go do her own thing. So we got to see Sam's family. I like his, I like this family except his dad fuck his dad dude his dad just his dad already hated sam to begin with and then his dad's so fucking lame and then sam literally just said like you know what sam got kicked out and then he said you know what fuck you i'm taking your sword i'm taking your dumbass sword it's valerian steel too if we we're gonna need that like like he said too there's only a handful of those in the world john has one there's one right there we're gonna need that to beat these white walkers so but yeah that was game of thrones season six episode five comment down below what you thought about this episode down below in the comments if you liked the video like the video and thanks for watching